Welcome to Ayastek. In today's tutorial, we will walk you through the process of installing and setting up Shared CN UI in your Next.js project. Shared CN UI is a popular collection of reusable components that you can copy and paste in your apps. It's not a component library, but rather a set of beautifully designed accessible components that you can easily customize and integrate in your Next.js projects. Let's get started with the installation process. Before we begin, make sure you have Node.js installed on your system, preferably the latest LTS version. And then you should also have a Next.js project set up. We will assume you are using Next.js 14 or above with the app router. If you don't have the Next.js project yet, you can create one using this command npx create dash next dash app at latest and your project name okay make sure to select the yes for typescript and tailwind css when prompted the easiest way to add shared cn ui to your project is by using their cli tool so let's do that or you can also open their docs page where they have provided all of the instructions click on the installation here they have specified all of the frameworks where you can easily install the shared cn by following this documentation as we want to use it in the next year so just click on that and these are the commands that you can use so this is for creating a new project we already have a project so i will simply copy this command that will initialize the shared cn in our project so just copy it and paste it here here you can select the style either you can keep the default or you can select the other one i will just keep it as it is click on the default and here you can use the base color whatever you prefer just i will select the first one and would you like to use css variables for colors yes all right our shared cn ui is initialized in our project you will notice that this new file has been added in the root directory of your project. This is for the shared CN UI. And you will notice all of these files have been modified. Package.json has now new dependencies and tailwind.config.js has a lot of changes in it because of the shared CN UI. Uh, in the global, it has added all of these variables for us and it also updated the utils.ts file by adding this code this components.json file serves as the configuration for the shared cn ui components in your projects it specifies the style tailwind configurations and import aliases now that we have shared cn ui setup let's add a component to your project so to add a component to your project you just need to visit this docs page and here below the component you will find all of the components that you can use so let's start from the button component click on that they will show you demo here and also they will provide you the code that they have used to create this button and below that they will give you the commands or step to install it and use it so just click on this button and it will let you copy the command paste it here in the root directory of your project like this and with that it has created a new folder components and within the components folder they, there is a UI component and it has added the button.ts file within that folder okay so it does not install any dependency it just add the extra files and code inside your main project so you can easily come here and modify these components if you don't like something here but mostly you would like to keep the way they have made this ui so you will not need to make any change in this component anyways after uh, installation is done let's use this button in our application so open your page.tsx in the app folder that is the main file or entry file here i will use this button component if you are using vs code you may see these suggestions 
on the top it is suggesting us to import the button component from this path so this is the path where it has created the, this button.ts file so just from this suggestion just press enter and it will automatically import the dependency for you if it did not import it for you then you you can just simply manually type this import statement and make sure the path is correct okay now within this button i will pass the text click me save it now go back to the chrome and here you can see the button has been added so one of the great things about shared scene ui is how easily you can customize the components so let's customize our button component open the buttons.tsx file find the button variants function you can modify the existing variants or add new ones for example let's add a new danger variant so here i will simply add danger okay now you can add the tailwind css classes like bg red 500 text dash white over bg red 600 save it now go back to the page dot tsx and add the prop or attribute with the name variant and pass it the string danger save it now you can see this new variant is working in our browser similarly you can add any other component very easily in this application so you can just scroll here select the component that you that you want to use so let's suppose you want to add the accordion click on that and this is the accordion that we need we are going to install so first of all copy this command uh, if you are using npm then sel select the npm if you are using yarn or pnpm or bun whatever you are using you have to select your relevant paste it let's just paste it here okay you can see accordion.tsx has been created and in the second step we need to update the tailwind.config.js okay we have to add this part of code in the extend section so let's go to the tailwind.config.js and this is the extend section here on the top i will add this part keyframes okay save it actually i already have added the keyframe section and animation section already uh, earlier so it is throwing an error so i will delete the old one and save it okay now this is how you will use it first you need to add all of the components from the import statement so copy the line go to the page.dsx and paste it here and now you need to add this code to create your first accordion paste it here and go back to the browser and you can see our accordion has been created let me wrap it in a div to make it visible correctly i will add some paddings okay and let's add few more items so whenever you want to add a new item you can just copy this and paste it like this and just change some text hello abc testing say now we have multiple items but you will notice there is a bug because we did not update the value the value should be different for every item otherwise it will not work correctly so now everything is working correctly all right thank you for following along with this ias tech tutorial if you found it helpful then please like and subscribe for more web development content also please don't forget to click on the bell icon to get notified for my upcoming videos and if you have any questions or feedback then please leave them in the comments section below thanks for watching and see you in the next video goodbye